Hey everybody, welcome to another review. I know it's been a while since I've done one, but I promised that I would do a couple tonight. Because who knows when I'm going to get a chance to do more. That being said, okay, uh, well let's start out with the new ESET Smart Security. This is beta, this is version 5. So as you can see, they changed the layout of it completely. Let's, uh, we're going to go through some of these things in uh, order so we can see. So we have your home screen here, which is you know just your basic information, run a scan, statistics, parental controls. And then you can go a little deeper into that so you can do you know your scans, your update. I'll show you that it's fully updated. The one thing that did that is kind of interesting to me is uh, we'll go to setup here you can kind of see they added hips now for the longest time all these companies are you know they were a blacklisting software that's what they most of them essentially were what they used to do is they had their signatures and if it was on there it would block the file if it wasn't on there it would allow the file and it seems that most of them are going to where some of these companies have been forever where they know they can't keep up with the signatures as much as they can try they just can't there's too much malware out there so they're implementing systems to stop the malware before it ever to stop unknown programs or to give you control over the computer much better than ever before some of them like you said here are going to hips some of them are going to behavior blockers and some of them are going to sandboxing technologies that being said, in my opinion, some of the most powerful ones would be in order, would be HIPS would probably be the most powerful one. But that, of course, depends on how you set up your rules and how you, how the program uses them. But if you have a HIPS system and you set it up for the ultimate security, nothing, I haven't seen anything that will get by. You will always get an alert and then it's up to you to make the decision. Behind that would be things like sandboxing, where it isolates the program from the system. And I think the least effective out of these three major technologies would probably be a behavior blocker, mainly because things can happen, malware such as um, rogue antiviruses and whatnot can be installed and never tick any of the, uh, the rules to activate the behavior blocker because they're not doing anything malicious per se. They're not destroying the computer in any way. They're just being a nuisance. But that being said, we'll continue here with uh, ESET. So they have a network firewall, web and email protection, their parental controls. You have some tools here um, where you can, you know, cloud power reputation, um, Submit files for analysis, rescue disk, all that fun stuff. If you click on the little green check mark here, you can uh, see different things. You know, you can go to advanced setup, and let's go in there real quick so we can just kind of take a look around. So you know, everything's checked. Document protection. You can open this up. You can see it will check for everything. This is uh, basically just like it is default. The only thing that I'd like to change, because the way they have it right now doesn't seem very efficient to me, and I really want to test their technology out, is HIPS here. They have it enabled, but this says automatic mode with rules. So in order of evaluation, you have rules, and then if there's nothing in the rules, it, uh, it allows it. Well, if you configure rules, there's nothing in there. So that's kind of weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, now you have different ways. You have interactive mode, you have policy based mode, or you can have where you can see it goes to rules. And if there's nothing in the uh, rules, it blocks it. In the interactive mode, is it goes to rules, it asks me, and then allow on failure. So that's kind of interesting. And then learning mode, it creates rules all the time. And then you can change it how many days you want to learn you want to sit in learning mode but we're going to go to interactive mode so it's going to be a little bit more interactive with me but i really want to test out their hips a normal person it's kind of hard to say 
how I would leave it. I mean, apparently they like automatic mode, but it's kind of weird because there's no rules for it. So there's, it just allows it. I don't know if it would even work at all in just automatic mode. So that's fine. I'll just leave it in interactive mode. Let's check out real quick here. Just give us a rough idea of Okay, here you go. You can see that we're get, definitely getting some uh, pop-ups here. So the application target is trying to open up Task Manager. So apparently in interactive mode here, it doesn't have the rules built in for safe applications. So that's kind of annoying. They should have at least got some of the Windows stuff built in. So as you can see, um, you, you know, you can have some advanced features here for it. But you can see they're just implementing their hips. So where some other companies like Komodo, um, Online Armor, those play, those companies, they already have a lot of these basic rules built in to make them transparent to the user. So you can see, once you go to interactive mode, it really becomes, uh, it, it talks a lot. So what do we got here? Let's look at memory. Looks like memory usage jumped up a good amount. Uh, it used to be a lot less, but hey, when you uh, it might be also because it's a beta. But we're using what uh, 45 megs roughly. Fairly high. We'll have to wait for the final release to see how that does. So you can see, I'm basically, it, it knows nothing about the system. Let me change something. Let me see if I can find a better way to work this, because this is going to get old very fast. Let's try policy-based mode. If it doesn't, yeah, let's try that. Let's see what happens there. So we have our files here. I have a feeling though in policy-based mode it would block everything. So let's try to open up something like paint. Hmm. Apparently not. Let's try calculator. Okay, so let's leave it in policy based mode and see what happens. Okay, it looks like that's snuck in. So that's definitely not a good way to run run this. Apparently I can't close it either. I'll just leave it on interactive mode. Okay, here we go. Task manager. Well, that's fine. Task manager is trying to open. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like that one works. Okay, that one was blocked. By Internet Explorer and ESAT. Okay, and that one was detected as a Trojan. That one was, I uh, think, blocked by Internet Explorer and ESET. 
smart screen filter okay so it says SVC host is trying to okay it's trying to run that file and it looks like the file ran just fine okay wait a minute here we go I'm trying to create a process in roaming so we can we'll just deny it and it looks like it killed it so that's good Okay, so win logon, whatever. Okay, it's trying to open consent.exe. They're both out of. So, you know, this doesn't really tell you much. All it says is that it's able to, if I allow this, it's able to terminate this process. So let's allow it and see what happens. Okay, so we get the pop up. It's trying to delete a value here. TCP IP. Okay, so we'll deny that. We'll allow that. We'll deny that. Okay, and here we go. This file is trying to create whatever this is. So we'll definitely deny that. So you can see their hips are very watered, not watered down, but just very hard to understand what to do and things. So it really shows you how some of this other programs, here you go again, is um, temporary internet file, uh, how some of these programs, the, the ones that run hips, are have advanced compared to what he set here is this is their first new one okay so that was blocked for these last four let's try something just for the hay of it let's see what happens if I put it in automatic mode I have a feeling it's not gonna protect anything as long if you don't have the signatures Okay, that one was blocked at the net. I bet you this one's gonna be blocked too. Yep. Okay, so that one was caught by the signatures. While that's downloading, let's go back a little bit up here and see what happens with some of the ones that were caught by the hips before. See what happens when we put it in automatic mode. There you go. You see? It stopped nothing. So, if it doesn't have a signature for it, it's you're in trouble in automatic mode. So that in my opinion right now, HIPS is the way they have it set up. If you're going to run this, do not run it that way. It's There's no point. Like I said, it goes for the rules first and then it allows it. So what's the point? If you don't have the rules, you're in trouble. It should come pre-filtered with a lot of these rules already, especially for all these safe applications built into Windows. But it doesn't come with anything. So the way it comes installed with no rules and automatic mode it's completely useless but this is a beta so maybe in their final version they'll have some rules populating it we'll see so for the time being i would run it in interactive mode i know it'll be a pain but at least you'll get some extra security which before the way it runs now you don't you just get basic 
blacklisting like they had before. So this is another, and this is, I left it in automatic mode, so you can, let's see what happens. Doesn't look like I had a signature for it, and it did whatever I wanted to do. Real simple. Alright, so, let's see if we have anything. Let's empty this out. that is. Alright, so now let's do a scan. Maybe I'll catch something. We'll see. We'll do a custom scan here because I want it to scan the memory C drive. I wanted to do an in-depth scan. Alright, so now I am going to pause the video, and I will be back whenever the scan is done to see if it finds anything. So I will see you then. Alright guys, so it finished scanning, and it was a pretty quick scan. Seven minutes. It says it found nothing. So, um... It says everything is all good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run CCleaner. And then I am going to reboot the machine and do a scan with Cleaning Essentials. So I'm going to be back, I'm going to be back with the results from Cleaning Essentials. So I'll see you then. All right, so we're back here and Cleaning Essentials finished scanning and it said it found one thing and uh, it was an application IRC client so it you know it's something it's not a really big risk but we'll clean it anyway alright so it's gonna restart the computer here so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when uh, it's done rebooting actually I'm not gonna be back then I'm gonna be back when this is done rebooting, I will do a scan with Malwarebytes, and then I'll be back. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it found three things. Let's see what it found. Okay, so it did find a memory process here. Trojan Downloader. Site, S-C-Y-T-E. And I found a Trojan agent.gen, so generic Trojan in the roaming folder. And that one's in the roaming folder also. So it removed all those, and because there was a memory process there, I am going to restart, so I will be back. Hey guys, alright, so, um, oh, one second here. So I did a scan with Hitman Pro, and it didn't find anything, so that's good to see. So let me sum up the new um, ESET Smart Security. What can I say? They're, they're improving, but they need to really address the way their hips works. They need to get some base rules in there so you don't get all these alerts, and they need to tighten up the rules on it. If they work on that, they'll definitely have a you know a big improvement than where they used to be so we'll just have to watch to see how the development goes on version 5 and hopefully they'll they'll invest uh, some time into making the hips a nice strong component of this whole security system and it really seems to me like this is where everybody's going it's going they're going to these proactive security measures instead of reactive so that being said um, I'm going to finish this review off and I think I'm gonna do two more here and get them processed and get them uploaded so you guys can you know get three videos tonight because like I said who knows when I'll get a chance to do some more so I will see you guys on the next review hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to everybody later